When you ask an AI to solve a complex problem or a tricky algorithm, it gives you an answer. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. But wouldn't it be nice to see how the AI is thinking through the problem? That way, you could understand its approach, learn from its logic, or figure out where things went wrong. The good news is that the latest AI models have something called reasoning capabilities, which will allow them to think before they answer. They work through the problems step by step, consider different approaches, and sometimes even backtrack when they realize they've made a mistake. It's like watching someone work out a math problem on paper. Now, how does this work? Well, the AI models generate something called reasoning tokens. Basically, the AI's scratch paper where it works through the problem. It might use hundreds or thousands of these reasoning tokens to think through your question. But here's the thing. Normally, these are hidden. You get the final answer, but never see the work. In this lesson, we're going to change that and make the AI's thinking process visible. Let's dive into code and see how reasoning works. We'll start by setting up our files based on the chat implementation from earlier in the course. In the API folder, create a new folder called reasoning. Copy the route handler from the chat folder and paste it into this new reasoning folder. We can remove the system prompt and the token usage code to keep it simple. The model is GPD 5 nano. Next, in the UI folder, create a new folder called reasoning and copy the page.tsx file from the chat folder into this new folder. Update the component name to reasoning chat page and the API endpoint using the default chat transport class. So import default chat transport from AI. And to use chat, specify transport. The value is new default chat transport. We pass in an object with API set to slash API slash reasoning. We should now have a working chat interface. Let's test it out. In the browser, navigate to slash UI slash reasoning and try asking, what's the best JavaScript framework. The AI will take a while and we see the answer, but we don't see the thinking process. Let's fix that. To enable reasoning features with the AI SDK, we need to add provider options. So after the messages property, we specify provider options. We're working with OpenAI. So we specify OpenAI and we set reasoning summary to auto and reasoning effort to low. Now the reasoning summary tells the model to include a summary of its reasoning process. This is a human readable version of what the AI was thinking. The value auto typically refers to a detailed summary for most recent models, but you can also set this to concise if you want a shorter summary. Next, we can also set the reasoning effort for the model. This parameter tells the model how much to think. You can set it to low, medium or high, medium being the default. For our demo, low is perfectly fine. Finally, we need to tell the response to actually send these reasoning parts to the client. So update the return statement. To UI message stream response, we pass in an object and we set send reasoning to true. This ensures that reasoning parts are included in the stream sent to the client. Now, before we update the UI, let's understand what we're dealing with. In the AI SDK, when reasoning is enabled, the UI message can include reasoning parts alongside text parts. Here's the type definition for a reasoning part. A reasoning part has a type of reasoning, so we can identify it. The text, which contains the reasoning summary, an optional state that tells us if it's still streaming or complete, and an optional provider metadata with additional info from the provider. These reasoning parts appear before the text parts in the message, showing you what the AI thought before giving its answer. Let's see how we can extract and display these reasoning parts in the UI. In page.tsx, in the switch statement, where we handle message parts, we only have a case for text part. Let's add a case for reasoning parts. And we can add this before or after the case text, case reasoning, and since reasoning is special, 
because it is the AI's thought process, we will give it a different visual treatment. We will return a div tag with key set to message.id followed by index and class name text small text blue 500. We will also render part.text. Now don't worry too much about the UI at this point. We will learn how to leverage UI components built specifically for chat interfaces later in the course. But we are now handling reasoning UI parts. Let's test this out. Navigate to slash UI slash reasoning and enter the same prompt as before. What's the best JavaScript framework for building web applications? Press send and look at that. You see a blue reasoning box appear with the AI's thought process. I need to respond to the user's question about frameworks, which is quite subjective. I'll provide a range of options like React, Vue, Svelte, Solid, and you can read the rest. But you can see it is explaining how it's breaking down the question and thinking through the approach. Then below that, you get the final answer. We have successfully added reasoning capabilities to our AI chat. Let me summarize what we have learned. Reasoning models like GPT-5 use reasoning tokens to think through problems before answering. These tokens are like the AI's scratch paper, normally hidden, but incredibly valuable for understanding how the AI works. We started with our basic chat implementation and then updated the code to enable reasoning. In the route handler, we added provider options for reasoning effort and summaries. We also enabled send reasoning in the response. In the UI, we handled the new reasoning parts by creating a special visual treatment that makes it clear when the AI is showing its thought process versus its final answer. This thinking transparency is powerful. Users can now see not just what the AI thinks, but how it thinks. They can verify the logic, learn from the problem-solving approach, and have much more confidence in the answers they receive.